India's Man Mission Program. IFRO Chief during IIT Convocation, who is also Secretary, Department of Space, said the agency is planning to increase the frequency of new satellite launches to 10 to 12 per year against present 1 to 6. From December to March, there would be at least one launch every month, he said. It would be a difficult task to give any timeline for human spaceflight program. But it is very much part of the ISRO's future agenda. The agency is in the stage of critical technology development for the human spaceflight mission, he said. The crew module reentry exercise was done last year. Activities such as development of environment control system, maintenance of oxygen and carbon dioxide and contingencies such as extricating the astronauts in case such a need arises are on. These are critical technology requirement activities in the research and development. The ISRO chairman said the future of the manned program would depend on government clearance. Lots of investment is required for it, he said. Space tourism as a concept is catching up fast globally. Just like the sequence of development in shipping and aircraft industries, space tourism and space adventure would be natural development process in the future space technology. One of the key ISRO activities would be to help industries build up a capacity for space tourism. The major objective of Man Mission Program is to develop the fully autonomous 3-ton ISR orbital vehicle spaceship to carry the two-member crew to orbit and safe return to the Earth after a mission duration of few orbits to two days. The extendable version of the spaceship will allow flights up to seven days, rendezvous and docking capability with space stations or orbital platform. IFRO plans to use for OV spaceship the GSLVM K3 launcher geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle 3 launcher with an indigenous cryogenic engine. About 16 minutes after lift off from the Satish Dewan Space Center, Sri Hariko, the rocket will inject the orbital vehicle OV into an orbit 300 km 400 km from the Earth. The capsule would return for a splashdown in the Bay of Bengal. The Indian Space Research Organization IFRO will set up an Pionet Knot Training Center in Bangalore to prepare personnel both for first orbital flights aboard an OV and for future manned moon missions which will land Indians on the Earth's natural satellite after 2020 India would get receive assistance in crew selection and training from Russia under an agreement signed between the two countries in March. One option which was studied was a flight of an Indian Pioneer not aboard a Soyuz capsule in preparation for the Indian mission. India and Russia signed the Memorandum of Understanding on Joint Activities in the Field of Human Spaceflight Program during the visit of Russian President Dmitry Medvedev to India in December 2008. According to the Accord, an Indian Pioneer not will once again be part of a space mission on board the Russian spacecraft. This mission, tentatively scheduled for this year, will precede the planned Indian manned space flight. This plan was abandoned later as per the agreement, an Indian Pioneer not will first go on a space mission on a Russian spacecraft. This will be followed by an Indian manned mission to space. Indian Space Research Organization's IFRO Chairman G. Madhurpanair said. Under the move signed by G. Madhurpanair and his Russian counterpart Anatoly Permitnov, IFRO and Russian space agency Roscosmos have revealed that they will jointly build the spacecraft for the Indian manned mission. 
we will be redesigning the Soyuz space capsule of the Russian agency for our mission, Nair said. ISRO has already been sanctioned 95 crore $14.1 million to study all aspects of the manned space mission, which will involve the two-member Indian crew spending a week in space. The spacecraft, to be placed in a low Earth orbit, will splash down in the Indian Ocean. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.